the markets are moving, maybe not in the right direction for Bitcoin, Ethereum, the altcoins. There's been some private ICO sales this month that most of you, well, 99% of us will never be able to participate in. And we are doing a deep onion talk. My name is Michael Kubera. It is currently at 68 cents. We're gonna forego the intro today. The market cap for all the coins combined, at least a couple thousand that are on coin market cap, there's thousands more that are almost valueless, is $246.9 billion. Out of that, there is a market cap of $10.5 million into Deep Onion, which is in the top 400 coins. There's some people that are panicking that, oh no, there was an all-time high of $18, $19 and it fell down to $0.68. Cents. It is down 6% today. Well, we've seen some incredible losses from Icon from... Actually, I, I just put up a list here. So as you can see, all-time high comparisons. Number one, we got minus 92%. It fell from $106 to $8. Stratus, we got it to $2 from $22. Ripple fell 87%. Icon 86.9%. Waves 84.5. Neo 83. Wand Chain, V Chain, Zilliqua all above 71.4%. And there's plenty more that fell incredible heights. So does this mean that Ripple's just suddenly gone or Wand Chain or Waves? No, these are still very valid platforms with millions of people who are interested in them and are reliant upon them. In cryptocurrencies, we have seen this time and time again that the markets have been moving up and down, but people are still working hard every single day upon the, the platforms, blockchain developments, any new updates. And in terms of Deep Onion, there have been some new changes recently. So if you go to the website, it's updated. If you go to the white paper, it's looking nice and shiny. There is a team section for both the white paper and the website, whereas before there wasn't really anything. So that kind of gives a more professional vibe to it. As you can see, there's different layers into it. Aha, I get it, onion. The forum section is alive as ever before. If you check out Vote Central, there's thousands and thousands of postings on there. I firmly believe in the team. They have devoted quite a lot to the project and some have treated me exceptionally well. They were extremely welcoming as a community. I I believe this is a temporary hardship for the crypto communities combined. It's not just single projects here and there. ICOs are a little bit of a harder sell than already established projects, but this wasn't even ever about that. It was doing a 40 week airdrop to prove to people that, hey, it's here to stay. And then they up the ante afterwards. Essentially, I was introduced to Deep Bunny by Impressive and his brother Dog Lover. They're great individuals. They probably helped me out the most out of everybody from the community. And I want to do a big shout out to them. Also a big shout out to Monocolor and Deeper. Unfortunately, due to financial troubles, I have to figure this problem out myself. I do not want any help from anybody. You live and you learn from your mistakes, so it's best to encounter them when you're young in life than when you have a family and you gotta support them. And oh no, hey, you suddenly went from private school to dropping down to a trailer park because uh-oh, you don't have any money. So your wife leaves you. I mean, why even get into to a marriage in the first place. But anyways, that little side tangent there, it's not a pleasurable experience to lose six figures, go into debt and all of this, but it's part of the journey of an entrepreneur. It helps strengthen you. Unfortunately, I'm not able to do my duties anymore, so I am resigning my position. For all the people out there who argued about my payment, there's nothing you need to worry about. For all my voluntary work, it is voluntary. I'm getting paid zilch. The 2,500 onions per month that is gone. I was asking for quite a bit. Originally, when I came to the project, I knew I was looking at 12 long months. And whenever you sign on to a project like that, there's just no knowing what's going to happen, especially with cryptocurrencies where it's extremely volatile. Now, I had just come from a project where I was paid $17,000 up front, plus given a couple percentage in equity in the company and the tokens, I was making a couple thousand dollars on average from every every single video that I turned out. So this is the first time I'm making sponsored videos that should be thousands of dollars worth 
for free. Also, the project prior to that one, I had a $30,000 upfront payment or $32,400 upfront payment. So when I consulted with others around me and they said, hey, go for 1%, I did try that. It didn't work. So I was like, all right, let's do a little bit underneath that. And eventually we settled for something that was much smaller. However, definitely could have gone up to that had there been enough proposals out on the table. But over the past couple of weeks, we've certainly seen some damage being done in areas. I've got a couple more videos coming out to explain more of my situation. I'm sure a lot of you will be able to learn from my mistakes and hopefully better yourself in business. I know one thing that's for sure. I'm going to be teaching my kids about this. And I know this is a moment that I'm either going to look back at and laugh or always come back to whenever I'm in similar positions, but I know I've learned my lesson. Personal finance and health is the most important things out there. Always keep them in check, never go in too heavy, invest safely. People were upset that the 2,500 onions at the time for one proposal was $5,000 equivalent. My argument was that just as much as it could go to $10,000 or $15,000 monthly for a part-time position, it could also go down to $1,000 monthly. And that may seem outrageous to some people that, oh no, $5,000 for a couple videos, right? But you have to understand the market that at times it's worth one one hundredth of what other niches pay, while at other times it's literally paying a thousand times more. The value changes pretty much every single day, but we are approaching more stable periods finally. And whenever you have a skill to offer, you have to be sure in yourself and the fact that in the market, you are one of the few who can achieve that. Since cryptocurrency projects are rather new, there's definitely a lot of opportunity out there. In the end though, this is probably the best decision. I'm sure you'll find this extremely soothing to hear. I am not going to take my 2,500 onions. I'm not gonna take anything. All my work has been voluntary. I care about my reputation, and unfortunately, if I'm not able to deliver something, I'd rather not get paid at all. Just because I'm leaving the project as a team member does not mean I still don't support it. And that's that. I'm extremely thankful for the opportunity given to me. It was a really awesome experience. I got to learn a lot from it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you tomorrow.